going on, guys? Yeah, I just got a comment on one of my videos I put up. Oh, let's see if I can get back to it right quick. It, the, the video, y'all, was uh, breaking, breaking new mandatory rules just in for all. Mandatory. Just go back and look at it. Mandatory. It started with breaking. And it's a new mandatory rules just for all. Just in for all. I'm, I'm, I'm talking tired. Crazy stuff here. And the feller said the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. We must protect future of mankind. Then the fella said, mic drop. <laughs> I went to say, picking up the mic. <laughs> that was so disrespectful to drop the mic. It's like, big boy, you gonna hit me in the mouth with some money. <laughs> it's, uh, I say, picking up the mic. The mini have not been vaccinated. They outweigh the facts, right? That's what that's what everybody crying about. That the people have not been vaccinated is is not enough. Is it so we I, I, <laughs> come on man. So let me get to this uh story right here on because this it this was my story for today. Then that came across I was like wow you reading my stories or something? A military guy too, y'all. Yeah. All right. As cases resurge across the country, many inoculated Americans are losing patience. Oh, we're losing patience <laughs> with vaccine holdouts, who they say are neglecting a civic duty. Jesus Christ! Or clinging to conspiracy theories and misinformation, even as new patients arrive in emergency rooms. And the nation renews mask advisories. They're not seeing that a lot of the patients are arriving in, in the uh, emergency room. Some are vax, vaccinated people. Come on, man! You can't can't say just look at him. Like I say, if everybody think that the the vaccine is a A life-saving super condom or whatever you want to call it don't be misled like I said I'm not trying to tell you not to get this or to get it cuz I ain't finna be the one that tell you don't do it and something happened then you hold me liable or tell you to do it something happened you hold me liable nah thank people I always tell you, think, make up your own mind. All right. <laughs> if 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 you vaccinated, why are you worrying about? I vaccinate people because they can't touch you because you vaccinated, right? Right. Man. Man, man, man. They just they worried about it and worried about it, man. The country seemed to be exiting the pandemic. Barely a month ago. No, it was not. Because they had another one locked and loaded. No! <laughs> Talking about, uh, yeah, not the word evolving, that ain't the word I'm looking for. You know what I'm talking about. Mutating. Barely a month ago, a sense of celebration was palatable. Now many of the vaccinated fear for their unvaccinated children and worry that they are at risk themselves for breakthrough infections. You vaccinated, but you still can get the virus and give it to your child. And you can get it from an unvac uh, unvaccinated person. Come on now. But the thing is, a lot of vaccinated are more riskier 
then unvaccinated people to your children because if you look at the way they got this out here, the, this this vaccine is that if you're unvaccinated, you're going to be sick as a dog. Even though that don't make sense, sick as a dog. I don't know where that comes from. But <laughs> if you are vaccinated, you might you might become asymptomatic. Your kid out there with their mask on all day long, then they come home to you, unvac you vaccinated, and you thinking you you straight because you don't feel ill will. You give it to your child. Then you gonna think the child gave it to you because you a blind sheep. Rising case rates up pending plans for school and workplace. Uh, blah blah bullsh. This is stupid analogy too. It's like the sun has this is a quote, y'all. It's like the sun has come up in the morning. Everyone is arguing about it. Said Jim Taylor, 66, a retired civil servant in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, a state in which fewer than half of ducks are vaccinated. You know what he said? Fewer, fewer than half are vaccinated. So that means most of them not vaccinated. They are way. Think about what you just said, Big Beard. <laughs> the virus is here is killing people. We have time tested way to stop it. And we won't do it. It's an outrage. How you gonna stop it if you can still get it while being vaccinated? Does that make any kind of goddamn sense to you? How you gonna stop it if vaccinated and unvaccinated people are still getting sick? The vaccine just make, they say, I don't say I see it. They say the vaccine is just a way to help ease your symptoms. Still can get it. I've become angrier as this time going on, said Doug Robinson, 39, a teacher who lives outside Portland, Oregon. He has three, three children, too young to be bad, including a toddler with a serious health condition. Okay, keep your dumb ass at the house. How about that? He need to, he need to uh, self-isolate his family. How about that? Don't go nowhere. Now there's a vaccine and a light at the end of the tunnel. If there's a light at the end of the tunnel, why are vaccinated people still getting this virus? Last I saw last week, I think it was Virginia, 27 vaccinated people died. Come on now. I ain't trying, like I said, I'm not trying to say don't do this or to do this. I ain't the one to tell you this. I won't tell nobody this. I won't even tell nobody in my family to or not to do. Make up your own mind. You, you don't have to follow everything somebody tell you because you because they scientists or or they uh, religious people. The man gave you a brain. Think. Stop being a dummy in the world. You follow everything you're told. Now. I, like I said, I ain't trying to tell nobody what to and what not to do. Because I'm going to do, and I done did, what needed to be done. Needed. I ain't even finna read all this. I done grew weary of this story, y'all. Very weary. It makes no sense. Thank people. Just thank.